Ooh, boy, it is hot and humid. But I'm just gonna say, if you see any dewiness in this video, it's just from my amazing skincare routine. Hello guys, it has been a bit since I have been on this channel. I apologize. For those of you who don't know, I spent the last two months in Colorado. I rented a car, drove out there, and spent some time with my boyfriend. But here I am back in Minneapolis, back in the thick of the humidity. My skin was really, really freaking out in Colorado, guys. It is dry there right now, especially in the summer. I would say I have oily to combo to dehydrated skin depending on what's going on, especially what's going on in my environment. But I'm certainly usually an oily gal through and through. But I bring up the dehydrated thing to say, like my skin really, really does need hydration. Otherwise it kind of starts freaking out. So I have been trying out lots of new skincare products. I also want to mention that this video is sponsored by Curology, but we are talking about a lot of products today. So I will give you my honest views on Curology as well as like seriously, several other <laughs> skincare products. I definitely don't use these all in one day, but these are favorites at the moment and I do wanna talk about them. So with that said, let's just go ahead and get into everything. All right, first product I wanna talk about. This is the Derma E Essentials Universal Cleansing Balm. I found this at Ulta. I was on the hunt for a cleansing balm that didn't have polyethylene or any copolymers, just basically any plastics, any form of microplastics, because I'm personally not going to judge any of you, of course, for using cleansing balms that do contain, usually polyethylene is the ingredient, but do just keep in mind that just because that ingredient does dissolve away in water does not negate the fact that it is, technically speaking, still a microplastic. So take that as you will. But I found this, it's fairly affordable compared to some other cleansing balms I found. It's artificial fragrance free. It does have some essential oils in it, I will say, but they're like the last three ingredients. That being said, you can smell a slight sort of like orange scent to this. So just keep that in mind. This stuff is lovely, despite the fact that I keep smelling it, sorry. Despite the fact that it does not have those ingredients, this still rinses away very easily once you emulsify it with water. I personally don't have to use a washcloth or anything with this. I know a friend of mine reached out and said that she recommended doing that, but give it a go with just your hands in water. It does work for me. This also takes off my most stubborn mascara. I don't personally wear waterproof mascara, but I do use the mascara from the lip bar. This is amazing, takes off that mascara. So I would say try it with waterproof mascara, you might be disappointed, but at, with stubborn mascaras, I can confidently say this does work at least. Okay, getting into my thoughts, my true honest thoughts and feelings on Curology. Like I said, they are sponsoring this video, so thank you Curology, and thank you for sending me these products. Early on into my stay in Colorado, Curology reached out to me and sent me a trial size of their products. And they also sent me a customized treatment. That's kind of their whole thing. Basically, if you aren't familiar, Curology is a brand that typically like acne prone people gravitate towards because the products are supposed to be really, really gentle and effective. Um, they can help with acne and they can help with hyperpigmentation left behind from acne. This is a brand that's all about like the before and after if you check out their social medias. And so I just wanted to see for myself if I saw any major, major differences from using these products. And actually they came to me at a pretty decent time because like right before these were sent to me, that's when I had that really, really bad reaction. So I had a bunch of texture all over my face. So it wasn't acne per se, but I was interested to, oops, I was interested to try these products and just see would they agitate my skin anymore when it's already in a like hypersensitive state in a like reactive state basically. And I'm happy to report that for me, these actually ended up calming down my skin really, really nicely. So the cleanser and the moisture are pretty simple, pretty straightforward. They do contain oat. They are oil-free, fragrance-free, paraben-free. Um, they also do not contain salicylic acid. And then the treatment is kind of the star of the show where you get hooked up with a provider and they'll ask you some questions about your skincare and put in some different um, sort of treatment ingredients. So my particular treatment has clindamycin 1%, azelaic acid 2%, and zinc pyrithione 
0.25%. I was most excited to try the azelaic acid in this. That's just an ingredient I've heard of in terms of kind of just smoothing the skin. And I can confirm that like when I used these products, my reaction did not get worse. It went away. These were really, really like gentle. It's not, at least to me, when I used to think about like targeted acne kind of brands, I thought of like very intense, very stripping products. And this to me is like the modern day acne prone brand where everything is about just simplicity, cleansing, hydrating, treating in a very, very like baby step sort of way. Actually with this brand, you can also get prescribed um, tretinoin just depending on your skin type. So that's basically like the prescription version of like a retinol. So yeah, for me, thumbs up. I had a great time using these products. If you guys are at all curious about maybe trying Curology for yourself, I do have a link that you can use. You can get a free one month trial. You only have to pay shipping and handling. So check that out if you feel so inclined. I actually also wanna mention that they recently launched these emergency spot patches. You get 20 of them. And these are those kind of patches that you put on a zit. Uh, they draw out like the pus and oil. And it was kind of gross, but it's kind of great <laughs> at the same time. And actually, I feel like the best thing you can do is get yourself some of these, like whatever brand, but some of these little pimple patches, just because if you are someone who like picks that and tries to pop whiteheads, the best thing you can do is slap on one of these. So when you're just like sitting there watching YouTube videos and you go to like mess with one, you've got the patch on it and you're like, uh uh can't be touching. Love these, they're effective, they're great to throw on, especially overnight when you're sleeping, and they're super clear, so you could like go about your day and just wear these if you wanted to, just so you know. But yes, like I said, thank you Curology for sponsoring this part of the video, and let's get on with some of the rest of the products. In this quarantine phase, I've been spending a lot of time on skincare YouTube, so with that being said, I have been exposed to all of the cult classics now. I feel like a pro, just call me. Dr. Dre. <laughs> and so when I was in Colorado, right at the tail end there, I tried some of these products from Crave Beauty. Um, these are some products I had been wanting to try for a while, even before I knew who Leah Yu was, the YouTube extraordinaire creator of this brand. But this brand's whole thing is about like a no nonsense approach to skincare. They're not constantly launching products to try and steal your monies. I mean, of course, they're still a business at the end of the day, so that goes without saying, but they're not launching unnecessary products all the time, so not creating unnecessary waste. They're very thoughtful in their ingredients, fragrance free. They're kind of like focused on building your skin barrier and just making sure you have really nice, healthy, hydrated skin. So this first product I'm going to talk about is their cleanser. It's the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser, which has matcha, hemp seeds, oats, almond, vitamin B5. This stuff is lovely. I absolutely 100% co-sign the hype that surrounds this product. Although this is essential oil and fragrance free, I will say it does have a slight scent of that matcha and of that hemp. So to me, that's not a problem. I like, you know, it, to me, it, it smells pretty nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> For those of you who have sensitivities to fragrance in particular, that is to say this is a product that will not agitate you or should not agitate you in that regard. But this is so gentle, non-stripping, just, like a yummy feeling cleanser on your face. Um, and I actually use this morning and night just because now that I'm back in the thick of humidity and oiliness, um, I am typically someone who is only cleansing my skin at night, but I love using this for even just like 10 to 15 seconds in the shower in the morning. It's just, it's so good. Also from this line, I wanna talk about the Oat So Simple Water Cream. This is a slightly more polarizing product within the brand, but for me, a pretty oily skin gal. I really, really like this stuff. It's only got 10 ingredients. Although I will say recently, cringe, I was going back and watching some of my old videos on this channel, which I don't recommend you do. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I said some really whack stuff about skincare and hair care back in the day. So I'm low key like, should I delete those videos? But I bring that up to say, I was one of those people who was kind of about like the clean beauty, natural beauty, skincare like thing. And I just don't think you need to give into the hype of that. Clean beauty doesn't actually mean anything. I think most of us know that now, but I think what's important is effective products, products based on science. But the reason I bring that up is to say this only has 10 ingredients. So if you are someone still who just 
prefers a shorter ingredient list on your products, but you still want something science-based and effective, this is like such a sweet spot. It smells like absolutely nothing. It is a water cream. So it is kind of like watery when you blend the cream out onto your skin. So if you have drier skin, you may wanna combine this with like an oil or something. I actually do that at nighttime, which I'll get into that oil later, but this is at least for a day cream on its own, perfect. Even if you are someone with oily skin, this is perfect at nighttime too. If you're layering it up with some like serums or essences and things like that, I think this is a stellar, simple, unoffensive product. And then next we have the Piece de Resistance, the Beat Shield, which sneaky, sneaky little lad, doesn't say it anywhere on this, but this is in fact an SPF. Again, those of you who watch a lot of skincare YouTube will already know that, but basically in the United States, the FDA is slow and behind, are we shocked, when it comes to basically like SPF ingredients. A lot of the US chemical filters that we have in the US are very unstable, that can be irritating to people's skin, such as myself. I had a really, really bad reaction to a US chemical sunscreen this summer. So in places like Asia and Europe and Australia, they're just like a little bit, <laughs> a lot a bit ahead of us in terms of SPFs. But in order to be able to sell this sunscreen in the US, it just has the name the Beat Shield. But this is in fact an SPF 50 PA4 plus sunscreen. Um, it's a very, very lightweight, like watery kind of jelly fluid. It leaves no white cast. It is brown folk friendly. It does leave a bit of a sheen on your skin. So you may want to powder after, like when you're doing your makeup routine and stuff. Um, or even if you're someone who typically doesn't wear makeup, you still might find yourself wanting to powder a little. Or if you're just someone who really, really craves that glow, craves that mineral, <laughs> um, then you would probably just like this as is. Oh, I did also want to mention real quick. These were actually the first sort of pimple patches that I use. These are the Cause RX ones. Um, so like a Korean beauty brand and I love them. I mean, these come with like various sizes, whereas the Curology one um, is just like, sh like sheets of like the same size patches. So take that as you will, they basically work exactly the same. All right, getting into some more things. We've got this Glass Skin Daily Hydro Serum. I talked about this in my black owned skincare video and I am working my way through this bottle. So I just wanted to talk about it again. This is a 1% hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5 serum. And it's such an interesting like lovely texture. I saw on like an Instagram post from like a skincare brand that they were like, how much serum you should use a pea size amount. And I was like, ooh girl, I am using more than a pea size amount, but this stuff is so smooth. And I double checked the ingredients. There's no silicones or anything in this, although it almost like feels like it because it's just so soft and smooth on the skin, but it's just like hyper effective basically. And this is very affordable and it's black owned and it's cruelty free. So I'm like, sometimes you'd really do get it all. <laughs> so yeah, I do only use a pea size amount of this. Morning and night, hyaluronic acid's whole thing is just to like, draw in moisture and keep moisture in the skin. So this was like essential in Colorado, but I still use it here. And I just really friggin' dig this stuff. And then also in the Black Owned Beauty brand, I mentioned that I had bought this Evening Clarity 2% uh, BHA and Gink ginkgo biloba biloba wow okay i couldn't say it in that video and i still didn't practice for this one so clearly not a professional here but this is a chemical exfoliating serum basically and yeah the other thing i like about this brand is you can try like a small size of a serum because sometimes you like dedicate yourself to the one ounce and it's just like oh i actually don't like the product luckily in this instance i do like both of the serums i've tried but bhas and other chemical exfoliants can be scary so i like the fact that you can try a small size of this and this is great. I mean, it's a BHA. If you are looking for a chemical exfoliant and you are someone, like I said, who, you know, like I have oily acne prone skin, BHAs are all about penetrating deeply into the skin and kind of drying out dirt and oils and stuff like that. Whereas AHAs are more about working on the surface. So typically those are better for like people with drier skin, um, but you can use both, just experiment and see what you like, but has not broken me out, has not given me any issues. So, woo. but when we're talking about BHAs, I think I've already talked about this in a favorites video, but I just wanna highlight it once more. Cult Classic Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. 
exfoliant. I said that kind of strange. So yeah, this is a salicylic acid and it's a like an essence kind of watery toner consistency so i just splash them out onto my hand slap the hands together or pat it on my face i will use this like directly after cleansing and before any sort of serums and this just again gives you a super super clean smooth surface to your face when you wake up any sort of little teensy bumps it can help with so Love that. Ooh, the foot is starting to fall asleep. But we've got our last few products here. I wanted to talk about the Herbivore Lapis Facial Oil. This is a bougie product, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you, all right? Okay, okay. But this is Herbivore's oil that's intended for people with like oily, acne-prone skin, basically. So I know sometimes oil sounds like a naughty word depending on your skin type, but this stuff, I have actually repurchased a few times. I've bought like the little travel guide, probably like two or three times. And then I finally bought the big boy. And this is just something I will always have in my collection. Like when my skin is irritated, angry at me, she needs hydration. She just needs, she needs some milk basically. <laughs> this is just like my foolproof solution. And I will either um, at night mix this with my moisturizer. So the oh, so simple water cream, or I'll put on the water cream and then pat this on over top, but I have found that no matter which way I apply it, it works really, really nice. I do always use this with a moisturizer though because an oil is not a moisturizer, people, just so you know. But I love this stuff. It's like effective and helps to just seal in the hydration when your skin is like very angry at you. So when I was in Colorado, yet again, sorry I keep saying that, but this is the stuff, just so you know. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about a couple of face masks, you know, just when you wanna treat yourself have a bit of a moment in the evening. Um, and these are both from Alder, New York. I actually just wanna highlight as well how much I love this brand. During this quarantine time, the founders, Nina and David, have been setting up time to like chat with their affiliates over Zoom. And they are seriously such kind, personable people. It's a small team. So if you want to support a brand that is woman and um, you know LGBTQ plus like man owned, this is the brand. They're good people, they're anti-racist, they are just like intelligent people and I love their products. They're also all about like no nonsense, gender neutral, minimalist kind of products. These masks are fragrance free. And this is the clarifying mask and the brightening mask. This clarifying mask is great for whenever my skin is like really freaking out from a breakout. This has willow bark and activated charcoal and bentonite clay. So just be careful if you're someone who's like sensitive to clays and masks, just be aware of that. But for me personally, love this stuff. Just be careful because it does have charcoal. So it's like black and it can, <laughs> can maybe make a bit of a mess. And then also I have the brightening mask which has vitamin C and zinc oxide, and this one has kaolin clay. So a little less intense, but still really, really effective. And these are nice to kind of like alternate. Um, I use like one every week or two weeks. I'm not a huge mask person, but these are really, really nice to keep on hand. And that is every product that I wanted to talk about. So thank you again, Curology, for sponsoring a portion of this video. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around. More videos to come. I know I've been kind of like missing, but I really want to you know, place emphasis on researching my videos before I dive into them or just like really give myself enough time to like try out products so I'm not just like shilling you guys products that I don't know anything about and I have only used for like a day. Um, that's just not me, you know? I wanna be honest, I wanna be thoughtful. So thank you guys for your patience and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.